Hi, my name is Dr. Di O'Brien and I'm a Senior Lecturer and Programme Lead for the British Sign Language and Deaf Studies degrees here at York St John University. I'm sure that many of us have recently faced the challenge of staying informed of the latest developments regarding COVID-19 so that we can keep ourselves and our families safe. But what happens when English is not your first language? Many deaf people are in this situation. Because of systematic failures of the education system in the UK, many deaf people, while fluent in British Sign Language, find it very difficult to access spoken or written English. When trying to watch the news on television, the speed and variable quality of the live subtitles does not actually provide sufficient access for them to understand what is going on. The BBC provides a live BSL interpreter for the daily coronavirus briefings, but only on the BBC News Channel. The problem with this is because the interpreter is superimposed on the footage only on the BBC News Channel, the interpreter is not included in footage shown later on the news bulletins, on other channels, or on many of the clips that are shared on social media afterwards. This means that unless deaf people actually watch the briefing live on that specific channel, they have no access to official information in their preferred language. There's been a sustained social media campaign over the last few weeks to try and change the situation, resulting last week in a class action against the government under the Equality Act of 2010. The devolved governments in Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland provide live BSL interpreters in their briefings, so that any footage shot there and reused later will include BSL access for deaf people. It's only in England where this is not happening. In Scotland, BSL is already recognised after the BSL Scotland Act of 2015. Will we see something similar happening from the UK government soon? It will be interesting to keep an eye on what happens next. If you want to stay up to date with the campaign, search the hashtag Where is the interpreter? on social media. Check it out.